of organizing a college league for the colleges around the DMV area, so make sure to watch out for that in oh, the future. Oh, hello, Victor! And look who I got joining me. Introduce Large yourself. Large and in charge, hanging and dangling, it's the giant DJ Nuts. All right, I'm going to go ahead and update this stream. So next up, we're going to have ZD versus Mr. Beecroft. I see. I don't see a lot of Mr. Beecroft, but I do see a lot of ZD tearing up those wolf claws. Yep. Uh, this is going to be 0-0 zero, zero right, right now. The game is just starting off. Awesome. You want to get this side? Yes. I was stuck. All right. Now, Mr. Beecroft has been using a number of characters throughout this bracket, but is currently on the Palutena, which is the most common thing we've seen from him. ZD finding that F-Smash with Wolf. Uh, this is a matchup he has no shortage of experience in, playing against Seagull Joe basically every day. Good tech there, but gets caught by that forward tilt two frame. I see. Pigeon Joe stands no chance, as this man has experience with the Seagull. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mr. Beecroft, a pretty formidable player of his own, in his own right. I mean, he's got a number of different characters. We could see one come out in game two. Let's worry about game one right now. But ZD with a pretty commanding lead right here. I see. Damsels usually never have a good record against the Wolves. At least according to Grim Fairy Tales. And we might be seeing a reenaction re of that story, that classic tale, again and again with this wolf right here. Yeah, ZD finding that neutral air. ZD always has crazy ledge pressure. Especially against Palu. I mean, he's played against every possible flow chart that you could see from this character. And there's an up air there catching the is. jump. Just a strong call out. ZD proving he's done the math, Apollo math on that ball right there. Oh, he's been here before, and he looks very comfortable. I see, so this is just a rerun for him. Yeah, right now, trying to punch his ticket into top eight with a win here. Ooh, kind of falls off that ledge, but Mr. Beecroft not really able to... Oh, ah, kind of an SD. <laughs> he's, got, he's got multiple stocks to play with, though, so... I forget. I was talking to, um, uh, I believe, J-Dog on comms, and he was talking about one of the Wolf players. He's like, it's not a Tuesday if this guy doesn't SD. Uh, Dexter, yeah, so yeah. It's a, oh, no, that's a Dexter thing. Dexter not ZD here today. harnessing his inner Dexter. ZD is finding that just raw side B. That, when he hits you with something like that, that's when you know you're in trouble, because he's just just has a read on your like aerial movement habits. Yeah, Mr. B does not seem to have a big sting in this matchup. Yep, ZD going up 1-0. Mr. Beecroft choosing to stick with the Palutena. Huh. Interesting. Oh, a good matchup against Wolf? Yeah, I mean, th this is a good good matchup between the two. Um, I, I think generally both characters have a lot of good tools that they can use against each other. Wolf, one of the... One of the characters that can, one of the few characters really that can really contest um, these very powerful hitboxes that um, Palutena throws out with those moves like Nair that just swallow everything up and back air which just beat everything out. I but see. Wolf's got those big enough hitboxes. She's just like, like a giant pinwheel. Like her hitbox yeah. is massive. But uh, Wolf's a disjoint from the claws though, right? Like yeah, it's not Wolf's like it's got, an impossible matchup. Not just the claws, honestly, more the legs. When he uses dash attack and back air, like those reach very far. I gotcha, I gotcha. So he's got the reach, and Palutena just has, like, the pure hitbox. Yeah. Although, bo both characters are really able to mess each other up in disadvantage state, like here. So you wouldn't say this is, like, a big, like, disparaging matchup for either side, I don't right? think like so. Each I think this, got is a, a chance. this is a classic, strong, top-tier matchup. I think conventional wisdom... I'm not sure who the mains of these characters think wins. I would guess it would be Wolf, but, I mean, Palutena definitely has the tools to use here, including that back throw, which is not going to take it quite yet. Yeah, here at the ledge is where either character really needs to, you know, make their mark. I see. And Mr. Beast is stung first, I suppose. I suppose. I'm sorry. He's got he's got the you're good. He's got the first stock this time around, which is very different from last game where he didn't take a stock until he was on his last one. Finds that wall tech. Should have teched if someone actually texts for once. Yeah, I mean there's that dash stack gonna take it though. ZD has evened this game right up. Back air, back air, dash stack, up air. Continuing the string, 63%. God, call him a weaver, because he's strong, Palutena. Oh, yeah. ZD finding another grab, just calling out a lot of Beecroft's defensive options, including that attempt to just land quickly. It was a little greedy. Finding another grab at the ledge. And we are seeing a two... We're, we're seeing about a repeat of last match with Mr. B in a terrible disadvantage. A 112. They might have like even stocks, but this is not looking great. Yeah, Beecroft took the first stock, and he just has struggled to make anything happen since. Gets caught by that back air. Yeah. All right, Wolf, he's getting juggled a little bit. 
Yeah, we got a, got a little bit of a legislation and advantage state coming out here from Beecroft. Um, here on... Ooh. God. Good catch. So here on Hall of Bastion, um, it being a stage with like a little bit less space than PS2 sort of means that instead of juggling, uh, your opponent is able to go... To, instead of being juggle, juggled, your opponent is able to go to the ledge more. Um, but, you know, in a matchup like this, both characters want their opponent at the ledge because that's where they can get a lot done. ZD, an excellent ledge trapper, just using that turnaround grab. Catching the jump, not quite able to confirm it into the back air. ZD, just a giant carpet, like one of those giant, you know the tarps that you used to play with as a kid? Yeah. <laughs> the huge parachute, just catching all the landings. Uh-huh. And Mr. Beecroft trying to get out from under the parachute, and he does with that roll away. Yeah, here we go. F but it's safe not touchdown. quite enough. Wolf's parachute's got huge cloth, a large covering area, and it looks like Mr. B is back in disadvantage again. He can still turn this around, especially now that he's got it sort of reset to neutral. Finds a grab here at the ledge. This could be big. Gets another grab. Another one. ZD double jumped out of that both times. Mr. B Croft could have gotten a punish on that, but he didn't. Going for neutral get a down smash. Interesting. ZD punishes it. Nair sending him the other way. Oh, and Beecroft oh, gets caught by that forward tilt. The double claw, the classic meme. And that's it. ZD takes the set pretty dominantly. Paul float. Paul floated like a. Is it float like a butterfly? Float like a butterfly. Sting like 